Oh, my husband's home today and it feels weird to be recording while he's here. I don't want to be too loud because I don't want him to hear me, but I need to be loud so you can hear me. The predicament. I have so much to do today. It's ridiculous. Okay. Let's get it going. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a good two weeks. The weather is so wacky here in the Midwest. Like one day it'll be 90 degrees and then the next day it'll be raining and like 40 or less. So I don't know, but it's warming up. So hopefully, hopefully we get some steady summer weather soon. So today we're going to be doing a bookshelf tour. I know I said last week that I was probably going to do a review, but I've been struggling, like I said, on some of the books that I've been reading lately. And um, I'm thinking about doing a video on that, like a quick little five minute video on the books that I've been struggling with. Uh, but we'll see. But today, like I said, book tour, uh, bookshelf tour of the bookshelf behind me. Um, I dread those videos on YouTube of book talkers because it takes, like, I swear to God, they're like an hour long. And I don't want to watch an hour long of you, of someone talking about, you know, every single aspect of their bookshelf. I mean, it's interesting for the first, like, 15, 20 minutes, but then after that I'm like, I lose interest. And maybe that's just me, maybe people love that they're super long and interesting, but um, today I'm gonna try to make like a shorter version of a bookshelf tour. I feel like it's a staple of being a book talker, but I wanna, I wanna do a little bit different. I wanna try to make it simpler, not as crazy long and descriptive. We'll see, um, because I'm talking to a camera, so I tend to babble a lot, so. We'll see what happens with that. So we're gonna take it um, shelf, by, shelf line by shelf line, and I'll kind of just go over what each shelf means to me. Um, starting out, I don't really have a organization method. It's basically, it's, it's more like favorites. I have shelves per, like, that are based on favorites, and then I have some shelves that I don't really look at, so. So yeah. Um, Let's start this thing. So, wow. This is really high up. Uh, yeah. My bookshelves go all the way to the ceiling. Pardon the dust, because there's probably a lot of it. So, um, this shelf here is my book graveyard. And I know that sounds weird, but these are books um, that... Well, at least the ones on the very far end are books that I didn't really care for, that I couldn't finish, that I didn't like. Uh, most of them are just didn't didn't finish because they didn't interest me. There's not, I don't think there's, there's none up there that I particularly didn't like. Some of these are my husband's too. So like the Warhammer ones, Ships of Oak and Guns of Iron, that's his. Some of these are kind of just fillers because we didn't really have anywhere to put them. But like the lucky one and the ones on the far end are ones that I just couldn't finish. I know I love the Hunger Games and the Maze Runner series um, movies, but I could not get through them. I've tried three times with the Hunger Games and I think it's because I watched the movies so many times that I just, I can't read the book. It's just not fast paced enough for me. I don't know. Don't ask me, don't judge me. It's just something, it's just something. Fake plant, of course, because you just you just need to have the fake plant. It's just necessary. These ones are series that I didn't really care for. Um, Hush Hush, uh, it was okay series. I didn't really care for it. But this is also like kind of like a graveyard. But like I read the whole series, and it was like a, eh, just like the matched series. Um, I it was okay. I don't even know if you can see me. I didn't even check to see if you could see me, but. I whatever. But yeah, uh, Nana is a little bit different. I love Nana. It's one of my favorite series. Um, but I need somewhere to put it because I have a lot of books and I was trying to like make it look decorative and yeah, so kind of like a filler, but 
and whatnot. It's the only main guns that I own because I bought them in high school, or I got them in high school for five bucks. And yeah, so I've just kept them since. Um, I have sand from the Pacific Ocean, and I have my husband's, um, oh my god, I don't remember what it's called, corsage? No. Boutonniere. His boutonniere from our wedding, up there. Next shelf. Uh, these next series are ones that I liked, but they're like not, are not of super interest to me anymore. Um, so I have the Twilight series, of course. It was the, fir the first book series I ever read, ever purchased, and fell in love with. Um, I have like the comic book version. They're like, they're the comic book version of the books, which I only have the first and second one, which makes me sad, but um, which I should get the rest. And then I have, I don't know if anybody's ever read this. If you don't like Twilight, this book's for you. It's called Nightlight. It's a parody of Twilight, and I loved it. Given that I love the series, I love this. It was so funny. They make fun of Twilight so much. You would love it. Then I have a La Push mug for when I went to La Push, and it has some of my um, bookmarks in it. And then I have um, the Lord of the Rings series with my dictionary, The Hobbit, um, and then I have my Gandalf Snow Globe, which shake it sparkly and it lights up so it's exciting oh and I have the ring the ring is sitting here nonchalantly you know just hanging out um this is my like older book section so I have my I have some old Shakespeare pieces the secret garden like these are like those ones that you get at Barnes and Noble that are really nice um Pride and Prejudice, Jane Austen, Grimm, the Grimm's Fairy Tales, um, and these are some driftwood pieces from when I went to the first beach at La Push, first beach in La Push, and then this is my wedding headpiece. This is a mug I got from a friend. This is for my mom. It's just I always thought it was a little cute. And then this is a mason jar full of dry rose petals. And yeah, don't ask me why I have it, but. Just sits up there. <laughs> okay, down to the next level. This is a little dangerous, but it's not it's literally sitting on my rotating chair. So I hope it doesn't fall. Okay, this whole shelf is dedicated to my husband. It's all the books that he reads. He's a big fan of Warhammer, big fan of Legos, as you can see. Um, Red Platoon was one of his favorite books. Um, and then a few of them were up there. They just didn't really fit in here, and I wanted to display everything nicely. He loved the Horus, the Horus Heresy books too. If you're into Warhammer, D and D kind of stuff like that, definitely check them out. I know that he would never put them down. Like he really liked them. These are some old favorites that I have. Um, ones like I said, kind of like Twilight, like that level. It's kind of like I liked them, but like they're not my favorites. Um, I have the Frostblood series. This is a cup that I got from a family friend, which I kind of feel like goes with this area a little bit. Picture of me and my mom. Just kind of have it hanging out there, I don't know why. But then I have the Ember and the Ashes series. Um, I did like the series, it just wasn't one of my favorites. The Shimmer series was one of the first series I got as well with Twilight. Um, it's just like really close to my heart because it's like, I don't know, it's kind of like Twilight. Like I'll always love it because it was one of the first series that got me into reading. Verity, it's one of the only thrillers I own and I love it. So it's got its own little spot kind of showcased. And then of course, Fifty Shades of Grey. I read that back in like 2016 and that was the first like smut reading I ever read. and. <laughs> To me back then it was like chef's kiss like i loved it now i know better but it was good <sighs> we're getting down to the nitty gritty i don't even know if you can see me i didn't even check but okay these the series the, the oh my god Bruh. stroke this shelves these two shelves together are my favorite books my favorite books okay these ones are too but we won't get into that yet so, obviously a whole shelf dedicated to Cassandra Clare and her universe that she's made. 
I love it so much. Um, it was one, another one of the first series. So after Twilight and after the Shiver series, I got into Cassandra Clare's Immortal Instruments series and I fell in love. I got a lot of the ideas and I, I kind of felt really close to the Shadow Hunters in this series. And that's kind of what drove me to the ideas that I had for my own books. Um, I really like the angels and demons kind of fighting aspects. It's always been a favorite genre type group category for me. So yeah. Out of all the series, my favorite is going to be the Clockwork series. Tessa, Jem, and Will are my favorite. Jem is the sweetest little cinnamon roll. Um, I have Bella over here from Disney, but she kind of reminds me of Tessa. Like, looks wise she kind of reminds me of the character um and then this music box i got back when i was in washington state with my husband and i don't know it just kind of fits with like tessa and the clockwork series because it's anyway a candle and then this acorn i kind of just found it one day and i just like it so <laughs> it's there and then obviously i have a crown here I don't know why it's on the side. It kind of just feels right. All right, and then this, most of you know, is the Sarah J. Moss. Aside from this one, this one little little book, I didn't know where to put. Um, Sarah J. Moss series. I have the Sarah, the Sarah J. Moss universe. I have the Accord Thrones and Roses series. All right here. My vanilla candle. And then I have the Throne of Glass, Silver Flames, and Crescent City, which I'll have to make, like I'll have to move this around because if you guys know, she just uh, announced the second book of the series. Um, I think it was Breath and Sky or something like that. It's in January, it's coming out, so I'm excited. And then I have the Shadows Between Us, the one I just recently made a review on. Um, I didn't really know where to put it, and this was like a little crevice here, so I just kind of shoved it in there. I have shot glasses everywhere. They're kind of just hanging out. There's nothing in there. And then I have my candle, and then I have this little quote that says, Do you know what you are? You are a marvel by Pablo. And it's from a friend named Ashlyn, and it says, Thanks for the package. Can't wait for your book. Always Ash. And I have it sitting right there. She's one of my, the first people to read my books, one of the first people to push me to publish on my own. So I owe a lot to her. All right, next level. We're going next level. So this shelf is books that I love. Um, it's kind of like these two shelves, it's my favorite. So I usually have my favorites in these four. Um, but yeah, so I have candles, obviously, um, this little, Thing that I keep spare change in for when I go to get books. I got it from a friend. Then I have Leah Bardugo's um, series of books. I have The Ninth House, which I haven't read yet. Then I have the Shadow and Bone series and the Crooked Kingdom Six of Crows series. Love them. Uh, I read them about a year or so ago. I think about a year ago. And then recently the series came out on Netflix and I just was ecstatic. Um, I have to work on reading them again. I just have so many books that I'm trying to read at one time and I have no time to do that. So I have all my poetry books. Um, Lang Lev, Lang Lev. She's my favorite of all time. Dylan Thomas is one of my favorites too. John Keats. He's okay. Um, yeah, but I have a few poetry books that I like. Um, and then Michael, I don't know how to say his last name but he is like friends or they're together, I don't know, with Lang. Um, his book's okay, but I really love her books. They're really good, you should check them out. The first one is called Love and Misadventure, and the second one um, is called Lullabies. And then of course I have the Divergent series, which was another one of the first series like that really got me into, this was like the gateway into fantasy for me. I know it's urban fantasy, I know it's not really fantasy fantasy, but like, it opened everything up. Like the other ones were kind of like, eh, like this one, it should have opened me up to fantasy, but I was still really hitched on it. So I didn't really know where to go. I went to Divergent and from there I kind of blossomed into the courts and um, 
a lot of other books. So I have that series. It's one of my favorites. Um, this is the only book series that when I finished it, it made me cry for three days. It's the only book series that made me cry for three days straight because I saw so much of myself in Triss. And if you know, you know. All right, so this, like I said before, these four are my favorites, these shelves anyway. So I don't even know if you can see me, but this is the Vampire Academy series, one of my favorites. I love Dimitri and Rose. They're like the best. The only thing I didn't like about the book was like their love scenes were not enough for me, especially when you're so invested into the series and the, the characters. That's okay, it was still amazing. I can't bring myself to get into blood bloodlines because it's just not really about them, so I don't know, I'm attached to them. I have this candle, it's called So Freaking Hot. It's actually, I bought it forever ago, I just found it. It's a Fifty Shades of Grey candle, <laughs> and so it kind of just hangs out, right here. My fake candles, um, Beyond the Line of Trees, one of the first indie writers that I read. Um, it's, it's a decent book, um, if you want to check it out, it's on Amazon. Bridge Kingdom, oh, so good. It's another indie author that I recently read. I have both of the books and I highly recommend it. It's really good. The Shadow Me series, one of my favorites. Um, I love Warner. He is just, he's one of those, uh, a jerk to everybody except for the person he cares about, which is like, I love that. This is a Starbucks coffee mug that my friend used her Cricut on and it says I put a spell on you and it's very me so I have it up here with all of my bookmarks in it it's just so cute I don't want to use it it's very me aesthetic and I don't have a lot of like cute mugs to put up here so that the only reason I had that little push mug is because it's broke that's why it's up here um this is my to be read this on so yeah a lot of these have been here for years <laughs> i just haven't gotten to them uh, i watched the witcher when it first came out and i borrowed these from a friend still haven't read them high school favorite i still haven't reread it uh, a few of these i got from uh i think it's called the book outlet or like a book budget outlet.com and they were only a couple dollars each bought them still haven't read them um and then a few more my husband got me and then a contact light that I haven't used yet and then I have my witchcraft books which I've had forever um, I got rid of a lot of them but I can't part with a lot of these this is my husband's books and symbols I use a lot in um, my writing but yeah these are my witchcraft books my medicinal medicines I use a ton uh, and then this is the last one it's just a jumble of stuff these are like your books and like memory stuff my husband's dungeon, my husband's and I's Dungeons and Dragons stuff, his Marvel stuff. I have some like writing books um, that I use sometimes, Writer's Inc, stuff for like social media. There's another book about publishing. I don't know if you can see it or not. And then I have like our, kind of like our kids books, kind of old books that we've just hold on to, like um, Chicken Soup for the Pet Lover's Soul, if anybody remembers those books. I have that one still. I have a lot of my fairy tale Peter Pan kind of kids books in this area. Cal our Calvin and Hobbes series, my husband's comics. So yeah, it's kind of just a jumble of stuff here that we kind of just don't know what to do. And that is it. I'm hoping that this, this video is not more than 20 minutes, but um, I felt like I did pretty fast. I did pretty good. Uh, just kind of going over my books and my bookshelf and what I have and maybe I didn't even do it right compared to like most people but I showed you my whole bookshelf so it was kind of exciting and um, I hope you enjoyed this if you've seen any books that you also have like let's vibe let's talk about them um, I don't have a lot of friends that read a lot of the books I do so um, it would be awesome to talk about them with somebody um, if you saw any books or you know listen to any books that were interesting that I said feel free to contact me and I can tell you where to get them if you're interested in anything book related uh, head over to my channel don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell then you'll be notified when I make new videos if you want to reach me anywhere you can reach me on social media through LF sites or Leonora sites or just go to my website at leonorasites.com and you'll find all my 
uh, social media platforms there. Hopefully I'll be doing a review next after two weeks, but um, you guys will find out when I find out. <laughs> um, chaos at its finest. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in two weeks. Bye. Thank you.